Ideas are cheap. Really, anyone can type up some proposal or suggestion for a video game, and the Rocket League subreddit has no shortage of those posts. But personally, I've always appreciated the users that actually make an effort to visually represent their idea, no matter how ambitious it is. And today in this video, I'm going to be highlighting some of the best and craziest Rocket League game ideas that have been submitted by the players. Starting with our first section, Goal Explosions. Now, I probably could do a whole video covering the different cosmetic ideas that talented players have designed and rendered for Rocket League over the years, but I've decided to stick to the one type that seems to have the most creative variety. Reddit user Invisible Ink Doodles starts us off with probably the most toxic goal explosion idea ever conceived, though commenter Jack Adjury takes it one step further, saying they want this for when they own goal. Yep, nothing beats being able to wanna save your own teammate with a goal explosion. Powerful Scent shows us that a simple drawing and a to the point description is all you need to convey a great idea. Ball goes in, net fills up with oil, cars get sucked in, fried chicken. Brilliant. In the comments, someone had an even more rudimentary concept that involved the ball hatching into a spider that would then stab nearby cars with its legs. So yeah, kind of like Airstrike, just more nightmare inducing. Our next idea is just a simple overlay, but I could totally see something like this being released by Cyanox the truly calculated goal explosion. Oh yeah, and that'll be 20 bucks by the way. We go back to Invisible Ink Doodles again for a collection of goal explosion ideas that he claims has a bit of a cat theme. First, there's the cat head that he says will be similar to the Jurassic Park T-Rex. Then there are balls of yarn, and finally an explosion of cats that Ink Doodles has made sure to indicate would be screeching. To be honest, it is a bit disturbing that this got over a thousand upvotes on the subreddit. And speaking of disturbing, this next goal explosion concept involves the ball blasting through the back of the net and into the stands, which one could only assume would end up scrambling any unfortunate eggs in its path. I do like the idea that this would be a speed-based result though. We already have a few cosmetics that change with your speed, so a goal explosion that varies due to the power of your shot would be pretty cool to see. This goal explosion from Spikes250 looks cool, but is a little confusing. It's called Smooth Criminal and it uses a clip from the song Smooth Criminal, which I can't play here, but I don't think I've ever seen Michael Jackson pull off moves like this. A silhouette moonwalking across the net seems like it would be a more obvious choice to me. Our last two explosions are from Patrick N. This first one floods the map, which fits very well in the Aquadome Arena. Also, in case you missed it, notice how the shark grabs the ball on its way out. This made me think that there could be variants of this cosmetic using different sea creatures, like an octopus or a seal that grabs the ball instead. Patrick N's second submission is a goal explosion with a response that changes depending on the placement of your shot. Now, Sionix already has a few goal explosions that do vary a little with shot placement, but of course, none are as nice looking as this one. Now, there would obviously be a lot I could cover in this section if I was to feature content creators and the custom map community. But for this video, I'll be mostly sticking to Reddit submissions by people that don't spend most of their time working on Rocket League content, because those are the only players that can come up with ideas like this. Even OP knew this was a wild one, as he included the disclaimer, don't do drugs, kids. Now, I'm sure this would be a nightmare to play, but the idea of gravity switching between the roof and the floor is an interesting one, to say the least. Yes, for this section, my purpose isn't just to highlight the community's good ideas. No, I believe that even terrible concepts can be entertaining to think about when someone actually takes the time to flesh them out. Case in point, Dark Penguin's Wind Arena. In this game mode, wind physics affect both cars and the ball. It can vary in strength and direction, but fortunately there's a handy indicator to tell you which way it's blowing. Of course, most would probably agree this is a terrible idea. I mean, Cyanox has added the curveball mutator since this post, but have you met anyone that actually likes playing with it? I think this comment predicted the results of such a change pretty well. All maps now have unpredictable wind. Playlist hits new all-time low player count. Though I will say it's funny to imagine someone rage quitting a Rocket League match due to wind. Next, we have a volleyball concept from Brian Brinkman. Now, I think Left might have done something similar to this with a center barrier that the ball could pass through but cars couldn't, though this idea includes the addition of drop shot tiles that ensure every hit on the ground isn't an automatic goal. This is also similar to the sideswipe version of volleyball that came out a few years later, though you can play on either side of the net in that game mode. Here's a bit of a surprising post I found during my research. In April 2021, Platrick made their own grass-covered rendition of Farmstead. And over two years later, as we know, Farmstead Pitched was added with the Season 13 update. Which is funny because I saw some people complaining about the lazy map change or saying, who asked for this? Well, apparently we did, guys. This post had over a thousand upvotes, and now it's in the game. 
In January 2018, Sidewinder gave us this amazing forest map concept that even had someone from Psyonix respond. Though their nature is neat, non-committal comment means that, unsurprisingly, six years later, we still have nothing like this in-game. Next up, we have a rare physical map prototype, the Beach Stadium. This concept from 2016 had people talking in the comments about the idea of a beach-themed map, something that would become a reality when Salty Shores was released two years later. Rumble Chaos is a 4v4 game mode in which the power-ups are only available from spawn locations at the center of the field. Additionally, its creator Ender Stenders envisioned some changes to the classic Rumble abilities that either made them more powerful or flipped their effects. We have the Demagnetizer that pushes the ball and cars away from you, Booster which gives your teammate 100 boost, and the Boot 2.0 that allows you to kick teammates. On top of that, there were some new power-ups, including one that gave infinite dodges, and another that had the ability to make the ball invisible. Probably the most reposted and requested map concept over the years comes courtesy of a redditor named The Killer Peanut. This rooftop arena situated in an abandoned and overgrown city was given the name Breaking Point. And after its original artist gave up on his attempt to make it a reality, he passed it on to Leth, who put over a thousand hours into the design, finally releasing it as a custom map in 2022. Even though it goes against everything that Rocket League is about, this post by The Gadget Music and his brother is one of the most impressive game mode ideas I've ever seen on the subreddit. Rocket Plasma Tech was an attempt to add more depth and strategy to the game by way of different car builds. Each tech would have its own name, color, and logo, and would buff or nerf certain abilities such as max speed and boost, jump height, and bump resistance. On the field, boost pads would now match your plasma tech color, and also a logo by your name on the scoreboard would tell other players the specific build you were playing. On top of that, the brothers created Halo-inspired medals to better highlight specific in-game achievements. These added different types of saves, assists, goals, credit for aerial demolitions, and spree-related awards. For example, chaining together aerial touches allowed you to go from a simple double touch to juggler, seal, magic carpet, flying car, and finally, RL Airlines, which would be for seven consecutive air touches. Of course, the concept of Plasma Tech is very much the opposite of Rocket League's skill-based design, but you have to appreciate the work these guys put into making this mock-up. And I also feel like on its own, these metal ideas would be really cool to have in-game. Dark Penguins might have had a miss with his Wind Arena idea, but he followed it up with three great concept posts in 2017. The advanced team system is still something that Rocket League is missing today. Though clubs would be added a year after this post, here we are in 2024 with a club system that continues to be pretty much useless. Dark Penguins envisioned the ability to level up your team, which then could earn awards similar to the Rocket Pass, which should be noted was also a year away at this point. Also teams would have their own rankings, which would hopefully allow friends with mixed skill levels to compete on a more even playing field. Next is advanced training. Goalie walls to work on accuracy, Barriers to dribble and shoot around, and speed gated nets are all great ideas, and it's a shame none of this is in the actual game yet. And speaking of not in the actual game, in 2017, Dark Penguins also presented his idea for a simplified custom map creator. Though I did find it interesting that some of the highest voted comments on the post recognized the amount of work involved in such a project, along with the very real fact that a lot of players would probably not care too much about the feature. I've definitely seen a lot of requests for more post-match statistics and data over the years, and this mock-up from 2017 does a pretty good job of showing what that might look like. It would be great to see what else each player did besides just goals, assists, saves, and shots. Heat maps would also be interesting, though there is one thing that's missing, as brought out in my own comment on the post. Where's the KD ratio? In the history of Rocket League, there's only been a couple major updates to Quick Chats. This post in 2019 proposed the ability for the community to submit and vote on new additions. What Quick Chat would you add to Rocket League? Let me know in the comments below. A top 100 rank has been brought up many times in the past as well. Here, Ethan Proctor shows a concept that combines the SSL symbol with the number you are out of 100. Here's one I would love to see. A notification to the player that left your game indicating you won in the end. The only thing I would add is a note reminding them that they still receive a full minus 16 MMR for leaving. I like the story that plays out in this next post that imagines what it would look like if a toxic player knew when they were muted. Squishy has muted you. Musty has muted you. You can now only chat with your team. What a save in team chat. Sunless has muted you. Everyone has muted you. Though a commenter did point out that Sunless probably wouldn't be the one to mute. Toxic chat is content, after all. Our last section is focused on suggestions that aren't really serious, but still have a lot of effort put into their presentation. 
And back once again for his take on this theme is Dark Penguins and his post imagining what Rocket League would be like if it was made by EA Games. The Golden Crate can be purchased for $40 or earned for free after 4,500 hours of playtime. Its content includes wheels that make you go faster, antennas that make you jump higher, decals that allow you to demo on contact, and a special battleship goal explosion that makes each of your goals count as two. At the end of the post, he thanks Psyonix for being Psyonix. Little did he know what the future would hold. Frothy Guinness suggested equipping toxic players with an unremovable dunce cap. Though I do like the idea of physically shaming players, I think this could just end up being worn as a badge of honor by a lot of them. Perhaps instead we force them to play with a scarab and the most annoying engine sound. That only they can hear, of course. I'm gonna break the rules for my video and feature a content creator next, because I really think his submissions fit the theme of this section very well. In September of 2023, Frowzy Squirrel posted a series of satirical mock-ups of new Rocket League features, starting with the Smurf check. With the click of a button, you can now find the age of the account, how many games they've played, and even slurs per hour. To go along with this, Frowzy completely roasted me in the comments when I joked about the error my account would cause when analyzed by the system. At least I can be happy with that uh, slurs per hour number, I guess. Some other Rocket League feature posts by Frowzy included one that allowed you to rate your teammate, a warning system to stop you from rage queuing, and a vote to kick a player out of the lobby, with the example featuring Woody being kicked for too many demos and not knowing how to play the game right. This next submission is the second most upvoted post of all time on the Rocket League subreddit. Coming in at 56,000 points, Sanic Fast's professional looking trash rank symbols were a huge hit with the community and quickly added as user flair for the subreddit. Additionally, Sanic Fast made a few more trash rank examples, including Grand Trash 1 through 3 and Supersonic Dumpster. For our final post, Mikos and Echo Dex team up for this professional render of what the next Rocket Pass would look like if it had a Mario Kart theme. I hope you guys enjoyed this collection of some of the craziest player ideas posted to the Rocket League subreddit. If you want to check out some more unique Rocket League content, my tool assisted shot competition only has a few days left for you to vote for your favorite Rocket League task creation. You can check out all the competitors' entries in this video linked here. My name is Rocket Sledge. Thanks for watching.